Good morning, guten morgen, megen de numaga, konnichiwa, bonjour. So I'm going to try to do this whole video in one take and I don't know how I'm going to present it or word it so please bear with me because this is the first time I have ever done this um, uh, on YouTube or any platform. I'm not on any other platform but you know what I'm saying. So <laughs> good morning. <laughs> So I'm going to give you a small backstory first um, and then I will get to the point. Again, I've never done this before so I'm going to try to do this all in one take and I, I don't edit my videos anyways. All my videos are in all in one take but this is a little bit different. So anyhow. Um, backstory I came onto YouTube um, the YouTube scene in the truth community um, back in 2019 I was born again um, in December 2018 and I started um, diving into a lot of conspiracy videos and people who are claiming to speak truth. Um, I basically had my eyes open and there was a hunger in my heart to find out answers. And even though I was looking for answers on YouTube, it was the beginning of my walk and it was a time for me to make all the mistakes that I was going to make. And the Lord is patient and long suffering and allowed me to just go in the direction I was going in because the Lord knew I was going to repent later, turn from my ways later, and realize that you can't get answers from man. That man is a liar, that Jesus Christ is the only way, which means he's the only one who knows the truth. And you should only get your bread, your spiritual bread, your truth from the Lord. So anyways, long story short, I used to watch loads of channels. And I spent hours upon hours, several hours, just watching things like mud flood videos, flat earth videos, fake space, um, the transgender thing where you know people in Hollywood it was, it was just so much information and it was like uncovering lie after lie after lie although people's didn't actually know the truth it was a lot of their opinion and theories of what the truth was even though they were exposing the lie they they weren't all the way there yet because there's a lot of people in the truth community who don't know Christ so anyways, I came across a lot of flat earth and fake space videos and I came across this one gentleman named Ron. His channel is Just A Voice. Now he's had a lot of channels deleted. He went from Just A Voice to Just A Voice 2, 3, 4, and 5. And um, he has a passion <clears throat> in his heart to open people's eyes and I saw that I saw the sincerity so every once in a while all the way up till today I would go and check up on him just to see how he's doing because I care deeply about people that I don't even know so recently that's the backstory <laughs> so recently Ron has been going through some hardships. There is some sort of chemical leak happening in his house and he's had plumbers and the fire department um, and different people coming to his house to investigate to try to figure out what the problem is and he's been spending hundreds of dollars to do this to try to figure out what the problem is to diagnose it so um, contacting his house insurance so he can get it taken care of and fixed anyhow he's an older gentleman 
who I'm presuming is on Social Security and on a fixed income. And Ron is the type of person like myself that he has never gone on YouTube and asked for assistance in a monetary or any way whatsoever. So I'm here to try to help him by sharing his information. I'll share a link in the description box and also in the comment section to his video. I'll also share his address. And I'm asking you if you feel, um, if you feel it in your heart to reach out, if you can. Some people don't feel comfortable sending money, but there's other options too. You can contact Ron directly in his comment section and ask him specifically what he needs. Now, because there's a chemical leak in his house, all the clothes that are in his house, he's taken his clothes and washed them three times and the chemical smell is still absorbed in the material. So it's things that he can't use. So he may need a winter jacket. He may need essentials like socks and underwear. So, and I also realize that sending stuff through the mail can be very expensive. I've gone to the post office myself to send things to my nephews and it's so expensive. It's like almost costs more to send it than what's in the box itself. So another option would be if you ask Ron specifically what he needs, because Ron would never take advantage of anyone. And it's hard for him to ask for help from others. It was difficult for him to do this, which I believe the Lord is moving in his heart and he's being refined by the fire and letting go his pride. When you need help, it's okay to ask help from others. So anyways, um, if you ask him specifically what he needs, you can go to Amazon. When I order stuff on Amazon, there's a lot of things that are eligible for free shipping. I don't have Amazon Prime, but I find things that you know are eligible for, for free shipping. If you put the person's mailing address onto your account, you can have things sent to him. Um, and the reason why I'm asking it this way, don't just send random stuff to him because currently he's living in his van and he's lacking space because he cannot store anything in that house because of that chemical leak that's leaching onto everything in his house. So he has a very small space. He's living and sleeping in his van parked in his driveway currently. So again, it's nice if you communicate with him, ask him specifically what he needs and send him just those items that he needs during this time if you're not comfortable sending money. So again, I'm doing this video because I'm reaching out. I don't have a huge channel, but if one or two people feel it in their heart, if you have the means to do so, and send him something, even if it's a card with encouraging words and scripture, I'm sure that that would be more than welcomed as well during this time because our faith on some level, each one of us has a testimony and our faith is being tested. And when you hear and you read scripture, certain ones, maybe there's one that you have a favorite one that you can share with him that gave you strength. There are certain words that are from the Lord that could touch somebody and give them strength to keep pushing forward and keep cleaving to the Lord and leaning on him and gathering your strength and your courage. So I love you and God bless.